MIAs and the cause for which we stand, namely their return or full accounting. Let this POW MIA flag, which we shall place in the empty chair, serve as a reminder for all of us to spare no effort to secure the release of any American prisoners from captivity, the repatriation of the remains of those who died bravely in the defense of liberty, and a full accounting of those missing. Let us rededicate ourselves for this vital endeavor. Society, for without the veteran, there would be no United States of America. As we pause as a grateful nation to honor our veterans on Veterans Day, November 11th, let us reflect on their past contributions to past generations, our generation, and generations yet unborn. America's first veteran was a colonial militiaman who first mustered out following the first skirmish with British regulars at Lexington Green in the Revolutionary War. It was those early soldiers in 1776, wearing ragtag uniforms and bearing arms of every make and description, who were forerunners of the modern armed forces which protect our nation today. The soldier's tale. I met a man in uniform. He laid across my path. His chest was torn, his blood was warm. Twas like a crimson bath. He gazed with troubled, haunted eyes and pleaded, hear me speak. And with a nod, I helped him rise. His words were soft and weak. I started 16 years ago when I was just a boy. I trained through rain and heat and snow. That lad was soon destroyed. My leaders forced me ever on. Eventually they told what I would do when they were gone. And I was gray and old. I gained a couple shrimps for feats I never thought I'd do. And through the battles, winds, retreats, I slowly learned and grew. And as the years have passed, I found my leaders ceased to be. Imagine my surprise. I found I held their legacy. I trained my boys, I taught and taught, and tried to light their way. The hardest battle ever fought is leading night and day. I may have won or fallen short, I'll never know for sure, but know I've tried to be the sort of man those leaders were. The soldier gripped my arm and rasped, I beg you pass this on. Those boys should be like heroes past when I lay dead and gone. I swore I'd pass this message on, he heaved a grateful sigh, and with a peaceful weary yawn, I felt the soldier die. In Flanders fields the poppies blow, between the crosses row on row, that mark our place, and in the sky the larks, still bravely singing, fly scares heard amid the guns below. We are the dead, short days ago we lived, fell dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you from failing hands we throw the torch, be yours to hold it high. If you break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep. The poppies grow in Flanders fields. Mishburn Military School graduates who gave their lives in the service of our country. Spanish-American War, Richard B. Smith. World War II, Robert B. Allen. John C. Bush. William C. Campbell, Jr. Charles A. Cannon, Jr. William N. Chu. Hugh M. Cochran, Fourth. Hill P. Cooper. J. George East. W. Herbert Ellis, Jr. Edward J. Fields. 